water sensitive paper come in a foil sealed bag to keep them dry. It's a good idea to wear latex gloves if you've got access to them to try and keep them dry. The papers are quite large and what we can do is just cut them in half to increase the number of papers. We also need a packet of pins to pin them into the leaders. Place the water sensitive paper on the cane and just place a pin through to hold it in place. It's a good idea once you've marked or once you've put the paper in there to use a little bit of tape to mark it so that you can find it later on. This is more important when we get into a dense canopy. Trying to find them in a canopy is extremely difficult. So what we're going to do is place them evenly across the row. It's important when you're setting the water sensitive paper to move out into the block. You don't want to be at the start of a block where the sprayer is going to be turning in. When it turns in, it'll take a little while for the sprayer to settle down. So we move three or four bays into the block so that by the time the sprayer gets to where the water sensitive, sensitive paper is, the sprayer is running smoothly. We also move away from the edge of the block. The reason being we need to do three passes. The pass where we put the sensitive paper is in the middle. We're going to do a pass up the outside, across the sensitive paper and then another pass up the other side. After you've sprayed, it's a good idea to look at the paper in place. You can have a look around the paper where it is on the cane to see if there are any gaps in your coverage before you take the paper off. When you take the paper off, make sure your hands are dry so you're not getting any more water onto the papers themselves. It's important that the water sensitive paper isn't just an easy to reach canes. You also need to make sure you have papers in the middle of knots, particularly on the leader, where it is hard to get coverage.